I've just done my hair and it's gone quite that I'm a bit low down. Um, it's gone quite nice today. I'm actually desperate for a wash, but I've got a video to film today. So I've done my GHD rice and it's gone quite nice and bouncy, probably because there's so much dry shampoo in it. I'm just gonna film a little vlog this weekend of house things that we've got going on. If you can hear like a buzzing in the background, that's because there's currently a big delivery guy trying to get a skip on our drive and I'm just sort of pretending it's not happening because I don't want to watch him like taking out trees as he goes. <laughs> I'm just keeping out of that. Um, so we've got quite a lot going on at the house this week because we're starting our bathroom renovations. So this is why the bedroom currently looks really sparse because I've just took it all to bits. Me and Dan have taken all the stuff out. So we're starting on the ensuite first. I've just cleared all the stuff out. We've also had loads of deliveries today for all the bathroom stuff. So I'll show you that. I'm not that happy with it. <laughs> I hate being like such a negative Nancy, but it's just so hard to pick while COVID's going on. And I really didn't want like this yellowy gold and everything's come and it's yellowy gold. So I'm a bit disappointed. I know it's a massive first world problem, but it's just when it's something that's like a big part of a renovation and a costly part, and it's not quite what you were hoping for. So the bathroom starts, from today really, we've got people coming to cover up the carpets. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing today, getting the house ready for the bathroom. I've got some beauty bits actually that I'll show you. Um, I've ordered some things this week because I've not really bought much beauty recently, but there was a few skincare things I wanted. So I'll show you those first and then we'll go into bathrooms. First up, I got the La Roche Posay and Thelios. SPF because I just needed a new SPF. The one that I've got at the minute is a bit thick and I've had, this is so tiny though for 17 quid. <laughs> I just wanted something for my face. I'm trying to take better care of my skin and yeah, I wanted something really sort of light. And then the other one that I got, I got these from Look Fantastic, was the Ordinaries AHA and BHA, which was finally in stock. It's the one that everyone goes mad for on TikTok and it's super cheap and it is really good. I really like it. I've had it before, but I've just not been able to get it while it's been out of stock. I've got a couple of other things in the other room, so I'll show you the current situation we've got for the bedroom, because obviously we're not gonna be sleeping in here. So the bedroom's all been tucked to bits and we're gonna be sleeping in the spare room, which is a bit of a tip. So currently, this is the spare room. We've got the other TV behind the TV that we've currently got in our main bedroom. This is really mucky, by the way, because we've been moving it about. And we've got all like the other bathroom stuff wedged in. So it's all a bit messy, but we'll be like this for a couple of weeks. In here, this is where I've got all my makeup at the minute. So it all wants sort of tidying out, but I've used this as like makeup storage. It is quite handy apart from the fact it's black and everything gets really dirty. I've got all my hair stuff in there. This was one of the new things that I've had in. I bought the Huda Beauty their face powder. This one's pound cake. So I've used Laura Mercier for ages now and I've finally run out. And I want to try something a bit different just for a change. So I bought that one from Selfridges and yeah, pretty nice, I've got that on today. And then the last two things are in my skincare drawer, which is getting a bit wild. It needs to clear out, I think. So I got this and this. I feel like everything I buy is off bloody TikTok. But I've heard this is really good. I saw Sophie Hannah talking about it as well. So it's like a colour correcting treatment. It's supposed to be for red skin, which I've not really got like redness, but my skin is quite uneven, so I thought it might be nice to try just as something when I don't want to wear foundation to sort of even out my skin tone. And then this one, I've heard loads about. It's the Paula's Choice BHA Liquid Exfoliant, which is supposed to be good for pores. I've always had big pores sort of around my nose area, so I thought I'd give it a go because I know people say it's like life-changing. <laughs> we'll come to the window in here now. Um, so it's all going to be a bit chaotic for the next few days, well, the next few weeks, really, because we've got big 
projects going on and it's kind of the jobs like renovation wise that we can't do so I feel like it's like the second stage of renovating. So we've got bathroom number one going on we've also got flooring that's supposed to be arriving today and we've supposed to have got someone coming in to do that in the next few weeks and then we've also got the worktops so the worktops are changing finally which i'm so glad about because they're just the woods knackered I feel like we've got to a point where the house felt quite organized and it's gone back to being like messy chaos again i'll go and show you bathroom stuff now i'll show you where we've took out all the stuff for the ensuite and just give you a little rundown of the plans and i'll show you all the things that have arrived for the ensuite and the bits that i'm not keen on <laughs> So we're all ready. I think I'm gonna take these off today. This cupboard's coming out. It is really handy storage, but I just would rather have a mirror in front. So that's coming out. The shower is moving up a tiny little bit, I think, because I think the shower tray that we've ordered is slightly bigger. Radiator's staying there, but it's a different radiator. And yeah, all the tiles are changing. We're not having full tiles. It's gonna go up to about there, I think. Sink is loppy by the way because I've not cleaned it because I knew it was coming out. <laughs> so yeah, it's ready for a little refresh. I think probably when it was done it was really lovely but it's a bit well loved now. So we're back in the green room which is still green unfortunately. We've got so far like we've taken the wallpaper off and then gave up because we knew we'd be using this room as storage for all the bathroom stuff. This is the radiator, the one I've got an issue with. <laughs> um, I quite like the style of the radiator. I just feel like it's real. oh, that's my knees. So I really like yellowy gold. You know, like, I don't know, it's just so yellowy, which is what I really didn't want. I ordered all from the same range so that it would match. And to me, that's a very different gold. And it makes this more obviously that yellowy gold. This is much more like a, sh oh, that's Coco. What do you think? Do you reckon it's nice? Don't get cat hair all over it. The champagne gold isn't really what I was going for either, but I prefer that. This is the tap. So we're having a tap that like goes into the wall, which I like these. I think I can cope with that. It's not really what I was wanting, but it's not that bad for me to be like really upset about it or anything. The loo is like a traditional style loo. Um, we've got quite a modern one at the minute, but this is more traditional. I want it to be like a mix of modern and traditional. And then the sink, which I really love, is like this. Is it hexagonal? I don't know. <laughs> so the plug, like, I think that looks nice. I can cut, like, this is the gold that I want, like my ring gold. But I think that's all right. So I think the radiator will be going back. We might just swap for a black one because it's easier. And everything else is okay. I'll show you the tiles. So tiles wise we are going for this porcelain one now. I think because of what basis we've got in the bathroom marble was going to be too tricky and think it might have cracked. So we're going for these porcelain ones. It's like a really light vein to look like marble. And then this is not the one that we're going for in the main bathroom but it's a bolder sort of fake marble. It's more like the same tones as this, but a bit more statement -y. We've not got a sample of that, but we've already picked it. And this big box here has got our shower screen, which I'll insert a picture of. So it's going to be like a black one with some of the brass. I didn't want too much brass. It's all a bit stressful. <laughs> I feel like my house has been turned upside down again. And in between it all, I've got to look smart and film some videos <laughs> so I need to crack on and stop like fretting over what bloody type of gold I've got um, and get on with some work so I'm gonna go do that now and yeah focus on working so I can pay for these bloody bathrooms. Oh don't ask what I'm doing. <laughs> this is one of my video ideas that might never see the light of day because it could be terrible. And I'm out of breath, I've just had like an egg sandwich um, and then decide to do a Gymshark video. Like why would I do it that way around? Good morning. Uh, I mean, it's not a good morning for us. We've had a disastrous one. 
um, we had a leak, so after yesterday when we switched over the bedroom and we were all ready for the bathrooms, we were gonna use this little ensuite, the one that we did up just before Christmas, only the shower has leaked through to the kitchen. <laughs> I'll show you our morning at eight o'clock trying to mop up shower water that was coming through the spotlights so that was fun we have got our plumber coming tomorrow so i feel like at least timing wise we've got a plumber coming we've not done any of the other jobs downstairs like the floor and the worktops and stuff so there's not much that it can ruin i think probably somewhere here there's a pipe that's just gone kaput so all this blooming stick down vinyl that i slaved over before christmas and Nobody's hardly seen it. I've got a feeling it's gonna be coming up. <laughs> Maybe even if it just ends up being that we retile the floor, which we probably would do at some point, we were just hoping that it wouldn't be quite yet. Cause I quite like this. So we're gonna sack off the house stuff for a little bit because I don't wanna do anything. <laughs> I'm bored of it. I'm gonna go get a nice coffee and a cake and try and chill out a bit more on our Saturday. This is my outfit of the day. We're going very comfy casual after the stressful morning we've had. <laughs> so I've got on this jumper, which is from Mango, and it says Saint-Tropez on it. It's just super oversized and comfy. So I've got that on with my, these are the Levi jeans that I got from Amazon Fashion. They're just a really good fit. I had one yesterday as well, so comfortable, but they look quite nice, I think. Um, and then my Koi, boots these are the bow boots they're really chunky but lightweight so they don't rub or anything they're really comfortable so yeah we're gonna go cheer up this saturday and get a nice coffee nice brownie hopefully and then just have a cozy afternoon oh it's such a nice day we are back from our walk. We went for like a two hour walk this morning. We actually went to pick up brownies. I'm gonna show you those in a minute because they are ones that you can order. So, um, we went to pick up brownies, which was lovely. And just did such a nice walk in the sun and I just feel like everyone feels a little bit better because it's sunny and it's hopeful for spring. I've just painted my nails actually. I've done, ooh. I've done like a gel, um, I'll link the gels below. It's just like this sort of neutral colour. My nails are rubbish, like people always message me on Instagram like, you've got really short fat fingers. <laughs> I'm like, yes, they are, they're like child's hands. I just was so sick of seeing them and they were just getting on my nerves and oh, it really stresses me out when my nails are bad. And I feel like it's just that little bit of me like a little bit of okay you look better so yeah we're just gonna have a very cozy evening and prepare for the stress of next week and the plumbing i mean we've already got stress with plumbing water leaking through his lights but hopefully next week there'll be some updates on the bathroom and things will be ticking over i think it's going to take about three weeks for the bathroom for that one to be done and then in another three weeks we start another three weeks of the other bathroom being done. So there's quite a lot of bathroom stuff gonna be going on. I'm gonna finish off showing you the brownies because, oh my, honestly, the best sweet things I've ever had in my life. They're from Adventurous Cake Book. Um, they are quite local to us, but they post everywhere. I ended up buying four, which is ridiculous, but we're gonna save some. This is the cream egg one, which I've not tried the actual brownies, uh since summer we mainly have blondies so you can order these online and they get delivered just through the post but we've been to one of the cafes that stocks them as well today so oh, that's the cherry amaretti one which is ridiculously good and then this one is our favorite it's salted caramel delish or something like that it is incredible honestly they are the best brownies blondies that I've ever had. This one's a pistachio gluten-free one, so I'm looking forward to trying that because we hadn't tried that one before. I feel like I've gone on about brownies enough now, but like what else, what else is there to talk about at the minute? I just spend my life asking people what they're having for the tea. And yeah, I'm gonna get off and finish that kind of home vlog and lockdown, what we're doing uh, there. 
there will be updates next week fingers crossed on the bathroom and hopefully it's a step towards being done <laughs> if you would like to subscribe that would be really lovely and i will see you all soon bye